as a bodybuilder, whether you're retired or not, we put our fucking bodies through hell. This sport could take some years off your life. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. 2021 has been one of the worst years for bodybuilding community. We have lost so many young bodybuilders this year. Undeniably very unusual and shocking number of excess death has been noticed in 2021. And the list is very long. But in this video, we will only discuss 35 well-known bodybuilders who passed away in 2021. 1982 Mr. Olympia Chris Dickerson has passed away most recently on 23 December. He was 82 years old. He was one of the oldest Mr. Olympia winner. He started his bodybuilding career in 1965 at the age of 26 and last time he stepped on stage in 1994 in Masters Olympia. Last year Chris suffered with a heart attack in the hospital after hip injury and later on he was battling with COVID-19 as well. According to the reports, he died due to pneumonia. We have lost IP pro Andy Heyman this year. He began his athletic career on the wrestling mats before transitioning to a career as a bodybuilder. He was also a teacher, actor and very family-oriented person, husband and father of three children. He won his 2007 NPC Masters Bodybuilding National Championships where he earned his IFBB Pro card. Andy Hammond passed away as a result of pulmonary embolism earlier this year after his elbow surgery. He was just 55 years old. IVB pro Mike Sheridan passed away at only 50 years old. He was one of the very few British bodybuilders who reached the ultimate stage in bodybuilding the Mr. Olympia in 2005 and he retired from bodybuilding in 2014. It was not revealed exactly how Mike Sheridan passed away but apparently it was a sudden death. Golden era bodybuilder Brian House passed away at 82 years old due to natural causes, he was from UK and he competed with Arnold Schwarzenegger in Mr. Universe. The bodybuilding world has lost another legend this year, golden era bodybuilder Reg Lewis passed away this year in February. He was Mr. Northern California, Mr. Olympics, Mr. Universe, Mr. America and also he competed in Mr. Olympia in 1970 with third place and later on he pursued his acting career. According to the sources, he passed away of natural causes. He was 85 years old. Another old school and one of the most famous legendary bodybuilder from Czech Republic, Anton Holich, lost his life earlier this year at age 68. Apparently, he died due to COVID-19 complications. Legendary bodybuilder Dave Draper, known as the Blonde Bomber, has passed away in the month of November this year at the age of 79. Dave's wife made an announcement on Facebook that his death was calm and peaceful. He won many titles in his career. Mr. New Jersey was the first major victory of his career. He won 1965 Mr. America, 1966 Mr. Universe and 1970 Mr. World. Draper also appeared in the 1967 Mr. Olympia competition where he finished at 4th place behind Harold Poole, Chuck Spees and Sergio Oliva. He was truly an inspiration to millions of people all over the world and his lifetime friend and training partner Arnold Schwarzenegger gave a heartfelt tribute for the bodybuilding legend Dave Draper. Another legendary and golden era bodybuilder Leon Brown aka the Brown Bomber has passed away in the month of September this year. He was 74 years old at the time of his death. According to reports, Leon had been struggling with liver cancer which has become the actual cause of his death. He shared the stage with truly legendary bodybuilders including Franco Colombo, Frank Zane, Liu Frigno, Sergio Oliva and Arnold Schwarzenegger. His competitive career was very active since 1966 and last time he stepped on stage in 2006. Many bodybuilding fans and athletes were shocked to find out that former NPC bodybuilder Matt Mendenhall aka Mr. Genetics passed away at the age of 61. Matt was considered by many to be the greatest amateur bodybuilder who never turned pro. He was an incredible bodybuilder and many believed that Matt had the most potential to be Mr. Olympia. Matt had many serious injuries throughout his life. He suffered a severe injury to his forearms while practicing pole vaulting in 1975. In 1984, he had a very serious car accident. Later on, he had bike accident which eventually hampered him to reach his full potential in bodybuilding. 
and in recent years Matt suffered some major injuries when he slipped down the basement steps in 2014. He had to have three major surgeries with the third surgery just few weeks before he passed away. According to the sources, cause of his death due to his recent operation of highly invasive spinal surgery and the negative effects of heavy pain medication that he was consuming. Old school bodybuilder and Hollywood actor William Smith has passed away early this year at age 88. William had an impressive physique. He was 6 feet 2 inches tall with 200 pounds of incredible physique of his era. Karen Pang was a retired bikini competitor. She lost her life after a terrible snowmobile accident. Seemingly, she was in her 30s. Former IVB pro bodybuilder Laura Bass apparently took her own life after battling with depression for a long time. She was just 49 years old. Rhonda Lee Grisma was IVB pro bodybuilder. She died this year in November after three years battle with colon cancer. She was 52 years old. South African bodybuilder Chris Pelly died at the age of 50 after losing the battle with COVID-19. Wellness bodybuilder and social media fitness star Odalis Santos Mina from Mexico was trying to get a procedure done to stop herself from sweating and it ultimately cost her life. After being put under the anesthesia, she went into cardiac arrest, whereas clinic staff mentioned that the clinic was not informed in advance of the steroids she was consuming and they believe that everything seems to indicate the anesthesia was reacted by the steroids which were presented in her body. Mina had an adverse reaction to the anesthesia and reportedly she suffered a cardiac arrest which resulted in death. She was just 23 years old. It was devastating and shocking news earlier this year, the sudden death of 212 Olympia bodybuilder Fahaz Zaid Hazazi from Saudi Arabia. The cause of death was Sudip. He had a history of suffering from epileptic seizures. He first time competed in Olympia in 2019 with 14th place where he represented his country Saudi Arabia. Two times figure Olympia champion and winner of 12 IFBB professional shows Jenny Lynn Paul died at age 49. According to a post on her husband's Ricky's Facebook page, she suffered a seizure while sleeping. Santal Kumaran was a former Mr. India winner and bodybuilder from Tamil Nadu. He died at very young age of 35 due to heart attack. Sentel had a cardiac arrest on 9th May in the morning and a few hours later in the hospital he was declared dead. He left 7 years old son and an 8 months pregnant wife. The news of his shocking demise was announced by his coach Chris Asito. Another bodybuilder from India Jagdish Lad died at the young age of 34 in the month of April this year due to COVID-19. Mr. India Jagdish left behind his young daughter and wife. Mr. Pakistan Shahzad Han Afridi died just two days after his winning competition due to deadly heart attack at age 41. He left behind his wife and four small children. IFBB pro Lawrence Marshall had kidney problems which eventually took his life after kidney failure at the age of 58. Back then he was very prominent in bodybuilding because of his very impressive physique in 90s and in early 2000s. He managed to earn his IFB Pro card and he even competed in Mr. Olympia where he was able to take 15th place. Iraqi heavyweight champion bodybuilder Saleh Hussain reportedly passed away due to a brain stroke at a very young age. He was very well known in Iraq as well as in Iran. Sophia Graham was very young, just 27 years old physique and figure competitor who died recently in August. She was not IFB Pro but NPC level competitor who passed away during her sleep and it's been been said that she suffered from a major heart attack. She was trying very hard to earn her IFBB Pro card as she did not take any break from competitions for the last 3 years. Sophia was very close to her NPC North American competition which she wanted to win for earning her IFBB Pro card. Tony Allett has died most recently on 22 December. Tony was well known bodybuilder in the United Kingdom. I believe he was in his late 40s and cause of his death is not announced yet. But after so many deaths in bodybuilding, people are speculating that there is a clear big problem in modern bodybuilding standards which constantly impacts bodybuilding around the world. IFBB Pro Mike Hone earned his pro card at 2007 North American Championships by winning Masters 40 plus class. Later on, he was personal trainer and nutritionist for years. 
Mike died at the age of 55 from a major heart attack after the workout in the gym that eventually took his life 13 days later in the hospital. Brad Holybutt tragically lost his life at the age of just 54 years old. He was known as mass monster of his era with 260 pounds of solid physique on stage and 300 plus pounds in offseason. He was also very well known having humongous peaky biceps and gigantic physique. He was playing billiards with his friend when he suddenly passed out and after a short time he lost his life. The cause of his death was not revealed, but rumors say it was a deadly heart attack. Former IVP Pro Women's Physique Bodybuilder Megan Elizabeth has passed away at a heartbreakingly early age this year. She was just 28 years old. Elizabeth was able to earn her IVP Pro card at the 2018 NPC Junior USA Championships. She was retired from bodybuilding in 2018 and the cause of her death was not revealed. I have a lot of, yes, mental health issues. I have a lot of fucking background shit, like 110%. Just because you're big and muscular doesn't mean, it does not mean that you are like a healthy person. I was super unhealthy when I was bodybuilding. We have lost another famous bodybuilder, William Billy Smith. He was third at the 1985 National Championships and later on he started his career on the TV show American Gladiators. Last time he competed in 1995 Nationals with 274 pounds of physique on stage where he took fifth place. Billy has passed away at the still early age, just 56, less than a week before his birthday, probably a few weeks before he had infection after knee surgery, but the actual cause of William's death was also not revealed. You never know when life's gonna end, you never know. The bodybuilding world has been hit very hard this year as another bodybuilder has passed away. Phil Hernan was an IFBB pro bodybuilder who has sadly lost his life due to medical issues for years at age 55. He had been struggling with health issues as he was on dialysis. I, I think it, I think it's the kidney situation that's bothering me a little bit. It takes a year to heal from that stuff. Especially with kidney disease, things take a long, longer to heal. Phil Hunnan had a kidney troubles for years and he needed a kidney transplant but recently he had a sudden decline in his condition which ultimately led him losing his life. He won his IBB Pro card in 1995 and he had a massive physique at 255 pounds on stage. In his last physique update in 2019, he was at 215 pounds at age 53. I'm 215 today. Another sudden death of IBB Pro women's physique bodybuilder Jennifer Hernandez at age 58 came as a big shock to everyone in bodybuilding community. The heartbreaking news was confirmed by Dennis James. Last time we saw her competing in Tampa Pro 2021, just two months before she passed away, there have been many speculations regarding her sudden death. Some rumors claim that she died due to the serious heart attack, while others say she lost her life because of steroid overdose. Another athlete has been found dead in Spain some days after competing in 2021 NPC Worldwide European Championships. From Italy, Orlando Gallucci was a personal trainer and competitive bodybuilder. After the competition, he was still in Spain and he posted on Facebook after training session just few hours before his death. According to the sources, he died due to the deadly heart attack. One of the most shocking news came out in August with the death of IB Pro bodybuilder Alina Hatwani Kosinova. She got fainted backstage when she was getting her last stand before performing her posing routine on stage of Europa Pro 2021. Czech athlete Alina passed away on competition day as she planned to compete in Spain Europa Pro Show. She was just 46 years old. She was married and mother of two children. Alina had a dream to compete on biggest stage of bodybuilding Miss Olympia and she even managed to qualify for the Miss Olympia in 2020. But she decided not to travel due to the problem with COVID-19. It's been discussed on several platforms that she lost her life because of extreme level of competition to chase conditioning, muscle separation, definition and insane vascularity, which take big sacrifices and have heavy pressure on organs and which is obviously very toxic, stressful and dangerous for overall health. And it can be the ultimate reason to lose the battle of life. The most shocking death for bodybuilding community this year and which had very emotional impact on everyone, it was losing John Meadows, George Peterson and former Mr. Olympia Sean Rodin. 
John suffered a heart attack last year in 2020 at age 48, which he shared his experience on YouTube as he explained there were blood clots in arteries and this year at age 49, John was peacefully sleeping and suddenly died due to a pulmonary embolism. It was really unexpected for the fans and everyone to see their fitness mentor leaving the world at such a very young age. John Meadows was a mentor and inspiration for people throughout the world and very genuine person in bodybuilding. He has helped many through his free advices on diet and training and I think no words can express the loss of this great asset in bodybuilding. I must say the entire bodybuilding community has lost a great leader teacher and true gentleman who was always ready to help others. One of the most famous bodybuilder IPB pro George Peterson has died just days before competing at 2021 Mr. Olympia. After his coach Justin Miller was unable to reach him, they found him dead and face down with blood around his nose in his hotel room. They tried CRP but it was too late to bring him back to the life. George has been a force to be reckoned with from the start of his professional bodybuilding career. He was Arnold Classic champ, he was one of the front runners in Classic Physique Olympia and later on in 212 division of Olympia as well. George was just 37 years old when he passed away and his shocking death has raised a lot of questions about current standards of bodybuilding. As a bodybuilder, whether I believe you're professional or amateur, uh, we are blessed as humans to be able to make uh, things called a choice. Now. Anybody that's in my shoes as a professional bodybuilder would lie to you if they say that the topic of death isn't at their frontal, frontal lobe majority of the time. Because it's definitely something that regardless whether people like to admit it or not, this sport could take some years off your life. The biggest loss for bodybuilding community in 2021, I believe it was losing 2018 Mr. Olympia Sean Rodin and it was the most painful and heartbreaking news for me and obviously for everyone who knew Sean Rodin. Sean meant a lot to the bodybuilding world, he won his first Mr. Olympia contest in 2018 and since then he was not allowed to compete in Olympia due to his case allegations. Sean was 46 years old when he died in his sleep due to the heart attack. Undeniably, he surely had stress for not able to do what he loved the most. But without being biased, we cannot ignore other reasons which eventually took his life. As a bodybuilder, whether you're retired or not, we put our fucking bodies through hell. I played football for 15 years all the way up through the collegiate level and nothing beats the shit out of your body more than bodybuilding and getting ready for a bodybuilding competition. Because if you do it right, it's a fucking scary thing. It's a scary fucking thing to do what we do day in and day out. It is fucking scary. We all know modern bodybuilding has gone to the next level and you have to make big compromises with your health if you want to reach certain levels in professional bodybuilding. At the end, I would like to extend my deepest and most sincere condolences to the family and friends of Sean Rodin and every bodybuilder who will not be with us anymore. Thanks for watching.